X and Y together started a business. X invests 2000 at the beginning of every quarter and Y withdraws 1000 at the end of every quarter. If their initial investment were 1000 and 4000 respectively and they make 39000 profit for the year, find the respective shares of X and Y. So basically a question on partnership where there are two partners X and Y right who have started a business. X invests 2000 at the beginning of every quarter right at the beginning of every quarter and Y withdraws 1000 right X has invested 2000 at the beginning of every quarter and Y withdraws 1000 at the end of every quarter at the end of every quarter and their initial investments their initial investments are 1000 and 4000 respectively and they make a total profit of 39000. So find their respective shares. How do you do this? Simple. See, understand that there is some change that's happening at every quarter, right? I mean, this is the whole year, let's say. So when they start, they have invested 1000 and 4000. That is about X and this is about Y, right? This is, let's say, beginning of quarter one, right? I mean, it's like divide the whole year into four quarters, right? So one, two, three, and four. So this is quarter one, quarter two, quarter three you don't have to do this drama in the exam i'm just trying to explain you neatly so that you can follow so when they start they have invested thousand and four thousand now what happens x invests two thousand at the beginning of every quarter so at the beginning of every quarter now that does not mean that at the beginning of quarter one because in the qu quarter beginning of quarter one was the start of the year when he invested thousand after that he makes sure that he will invest two thousand rupees at the beginning of every quarter so he'll add two thousand rupees to his investment He'll add another 2000 rupees to his investment at the beginning of third quarter. He'll add another 2000 rupees at the beginning of fourth quarter. After that also he may add, but we are not worried because here the year ends. At this point, the year ends. So we are not really worried about what happens after this, right? We don't care. What happens to Y's investment? He withdraws 1000 at the end of every quarter. See, beginning of quarter two, this point is beginning of quarter two. The same point is end of quarter one. So at the end of quarter one, Y will withdraw 1000 rupees. At the end of quarter two, again, again he'll withdraw thousand rupees. At the end of quarter three, he withdraws thousand rupees. And at the end of quarter four, he may withdraw thousand rupees, but we are not worried because the year ends here, right? After that, what they do is not really our concern. Now, what we really need to understand is for the first quarter, which means for the first so every quarter is three months, right? So for the first three months, investments were thousand and four thousand respectively. For the next three months, quarter two, next three months, what was X's investment? Thousand plus two thousand. 3000 rupees yes or no what was wise investment 4000 minus 1000 3000 rupees for the next three months after that from this point onwards what is excess investment already 3000 plus 2000 makes it 5000 rupees for the next three months similarly 5000 plus 2000 7000 rupees for the last three months what happens to wise investment 3000 for the second three months minus 1000 rupees 2000 for the third set of three months and 1000 rupees for the full set of three months you're able to follow that is it once you have understood this part solving it becomes very easy now you know that profit is divided based on the ratio of investment and time of investment here both have been considered in one shot so we can say profit of x is to profit of y will be equal to what see calculate x's investment 1000 rupees for three months so 1000 into 3 plus for the next three months it is 3000 so 3000 into 3 plus for the next three months it is 5000 so 5000 into 3 and for the last three months it is 7000 rupees 7000 into 3 is to wise investment for the first three months it is 4000 so 4000 into 3 plus for the remaining three months for the second three months second quarter it is 3000 rupees per month so 3000 into 3 for the third quarter it is 2000 per month so 2000 into 3 and for the last quarter, it is 1000 rupees per month. So 1000 into 3. Yes or no? That's it. Now do the calculation. You will get the ratio, divide 39,000 in that ratio. Now, like I always say, cut down the number of steps that you put on paper. If you observe, we have wasted a lot of our time in just putting the zeros. How many zeros? Three zeros, four times, 12 zeros, and here 12 zeros. You know that these 12 zeros will anyway cancel. So 12 plus 12, 24 zeros have been put on paper, which is a huge waste of your time. I mean, you know, precious time. What will a smart person do? He will not write 1000 into 3, 3000 into 3. He will say 1 into 3, 3 into 3, 5 into 3, 7 into 3. Because you are anyway dealing with thousands only, right? So 1000, 1000 gets cancelled. It's a ratio. It anyway gets cancelled. Smarter people, they will not even write 3 because they know that it is a quarterly based calculation. It gets cancelled on both the sides. You are getting it. So cut down the number of steps. It's not just steps. It's also the 
you know, it's also the letters that you put on each step or the numbers that you put in each step. I think simple calculation is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. So 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 7, 16 is to 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 1, 10. Yeah, 16 is to 10, which is 8 is to 5. That's it. So the ratio is 8 is to 5. He's asking us to find out individual sales. So profit of X will be 8 parts out of 13 parts to 39,000, which is 24,000, which implies profit of Y will be 39,000 minus 24,000, 15,000. So these are the individual shares, 24,000 and 15,000 respectively.